How's it going, buddy? Oh, you look surprised to see me. I'm not too happy either. <sighs> You're hurting my feelings. <laughs> what, were you expecting someone else? I can't imagine why, not like you have any friends. What's your problem? You don't want to talk to me? Why not? <laughs> I'm a bully? Is that what you said? Oh my god, you should have heard the way your voice cracked when you said that. Like you're nervous to even talk in front of me. I wonder how many times you rehearsed telling me that to my face in front of the mirror, and you still sounded so lame when you said it. <laughs> but you know, yeah, sure. I guess you could say I'm a bit of a bully. But hey, pushing around wormy little dorks who start squeaking when they try to talk to me is fun. Sue me. Anyway, move aside, let me in. Your bully has to talk to you. Oh, you don't want to let me in. Too bad I don't care what you want. Step aside. Oh, you're going to be difficult, aren't you? <laughs> Good. I'm in a feisty mood tonight. Just... No, no, don't try to block me. Okay, I warned you. <laughs> oh, whoops. Sorry, did that hurt? When I elbowed your chest like that? Oh, poor thing. Though you got lucky, you know. I was actually aiming a couple inches down. <laughs> oh man, watching you hunch over like that. You're already shorter than me, but when you double over, it makes it so much more visible how small you are compared to me. Oh, come on, don't be a baby. Stop moaning. <sighs> there, there. It's okay. I didn't elbow you that hard. Let's just get you over on your bed. Come on. I'll even be nice and help. Just put your arm around my shoulder. There. God, this place is such a mess. Don't you ever do any cleaning? Ugh. I have to admit, though, it's not as bad as I thought. At least you don't have any, like, action figures or Pokemon plushies or whatever on your shelves. <laughs> okay, there. Sit down. Get all nice and cozy. I'll just sit on... Actually, your chair looks really uncomfortable. Aren't nerds supposed to have, like, comfy, expensive gaming chairs? How do you sit on that, hunched over on your laptop all day? <laughs> Whatever. I'll just sit on your bed next to you. Move over. Alright, so you're probably wondering why I skipped a Theta Theta move pregame to come pay a visit to someone like you. Well, let's just say I'm in a bit of a pickle, and I have an offer for you. And by offer, I'm going to tell you something, and you're going to do it. Got it? Oh, light it up. That little jab in the stomach didn't hurt that bad. Quit being a drama queen. I'm sorry, I guess, if that's what you wanted me to say, but... That's what you get for not giving me what I wanted the first time I asked. Now try and pay attention. Anyway, what, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, uh, my, uh, offer... So, you and I are both in the same section of Math 330, right? Referential equations or whatever, right? With that weird nasal professor with a fake pearl necklace? Yeah, yeah, I meant differential equations, whatever, no one cares. But you're in it, right? You raised your hand and answered one of the questions on the first day, right? Wasn't that you? I knew it. <laughs> you always sound so eager... You're such a little teacher's pet. <laughs> Most people grow out of that after high school, you know. Anyway, here's the deal. I was trying to do the review packet Miss Fake Pearls handed out on the first day, and it's not going so hot. I don't know what half of this stuff. Like, I know the derivatives and limits and all that, but but partial derivatives? When the hell did they teach that? <laughs> And that's a problem for me, because I just called in to talk to my advisor a couple days ago, and he was like, Your GPA is in a bad spot. If you don't get a 3.3 average this semester, your scholarship is going to be at risk, and you might be ineligible for extracurriculars, and blah 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 blah. Man, he droned on and on. He was such a dick about it, but he's right. And it's not just this class, to be honest. I'm in this professional writing class... And the syllabus assigns like an essay practically every other week. 
Chemistry has all these labs. Ugh. There's so much trash they want me to do. Just because the professors don't have lives doesn't mean I don't. Bottom line is, I really need good grades this semester or I'm going to get screwed pretty hard. <laughs> Not in a fun way. That's where you come in. <laughs> so you're perfect for this since, unlike me, you actually don't have a life. <laughs> so you're going to help me do all my work. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just shut up for a second, okay? Because I figured you might not be psyched about that idea, but you're doing it. And I think I have something that might make it worth your while. Look, I'm not an airhead. I might not be a nerd like you, but I'm not dumb. Trust me, dumb girls do not survive in the circles I run in. So don't think I'm too oblivious to know that. Even though you're scared of me, you still have a pretty major crush on me. Yeah, yeah, save the stuttering, you're not fooling anyone. <laughs> See, the way you look at me and talk to me, I get all anxious and start fidgeting when you catch my eye. Don't tell me that's just you being uncomfortable. I know what it looks like when someone's into me. Because, um, not to brag or anything, but I get that a lot. <laughs> Admit it. Maybe. There's that voice crack again. <laughs> you know, you're actually kind of cute in your own goofy way. Even when you get all shy and start squirming like that. Oh, what was that? No, no, no. Don't try to turn away. It's too late. I already saw the little embarrassed smile when I called you cute just now. Did you like that? But you never thought you were a boy. Would call you that, huh? Oh my god, you practically flinched when I put my arm around you just now. Are you that scared of me? Just relax. We're all friends here. Well, no, we aren't, actually. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not going to hurt you. Again, at least. I promise. <laughs> just stop being a scaredy cat for a second and hear me out. Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna be my new roommate. Yes, I'm serious, believe me. I wasn't exactly psyched at the idea of rooming with you at first either, but then, you know, when I start to think about it. It's going to take a lot of burning the midnight oil to save my ass this semester, and I'm not going to wait for you to get to my place all the time so we can study, and I sure don't want to be seen visiting yours every other day. And since 90% of the time I go out to hang out with people instead of inviting them back to my place, no one would even know you were there if I didn't want them to. So that's one thing. But also, I don't totally hate the idea of keeping you around. As long as you do what I want and know your place. I mean, hey, take this as a compliment if you want. But I have more fun pushing your buttons sometimes than I do hanging with some of the annoying people around me. Now, let's be clear, I'm not saying we should be study buddies or friends or whatever. I do still have a reputation to keep. No offense. <laughs> no, I have a pretty different dynamic in mind. What I'm suggesting is more like, you'd be my pet. <laughs> yeah, you heard me right. My pet. You're gonna be my pet. And I'm going to be your um, owner. What that means is, as long as you stay with me, you're going to do exactly what I say. All my homework and exam prep and whatever else I need done, you're going to be my little trained circus animal and help me do it. And in exchange, if you do a really good job... I'll give you a little of that attention. I know you crave. <laughs> oh, don't play dumb, buddy. You suck at it. <laughs> I saw how you trembled when I put my arm around you and I saw that shy little smile you tried to hide when I called you cute. That's not the first time you've reacted like that. All the times I've condescendingly patted you on the head or dragged you by the shirt collar... Don't think I didn't notice you get all flustered. You didn't always try all that hard to resist either. <laughs> you 
You like the idea of being my pet, don't you? Maybe. Just maybe. Well, if you're so unsure, I can always just get up and walk out of... <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Good. Because between you and me, and if you tell anyone this, you're going to wish you were dead, by the way. You're one of the smarter people I know. Sure. But that's not the only reason I came to you. I kind of like the idea of you being my pet, too. Something about it gets me going. Especially the way you get worked up when I tease you these days. Are you starting to fight back a little? I mean, you never would have told me off like you did when I was at the door before. It's got me thinking how fun it would be to put you back in your place. And that would take getting a little more hands-on. Telling you what to do, leading you around, giving you commands. But it, it wouldn't be all that bad for you, far from it. Part of being a pet is getting tossed a treat if you're good. Oh, did I see your eyes widen when I said treat? <laughs> you're so easy. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure before I got here, but seeing the look in your eyes... I'm sure now. You're doing this. I always wanted a medium puppy of my own growing up. I didn't think that puppy would help with my homework instead of eating it, but I'll take it. I bet you're probably wondering what exactly I mean by giving you a treat. But you're too scared to ask, aren't you? Well, I did learn one thing at least from 12 credits of useless mandatory English classes. Show. Don't tell. Let me just lay it down. That's it. Let me ease you back. I'll do all the work. I lead. You follow. Remember that. Picture yourself in my room. Say, a month from now. The two of us just got done drilling flashcards full of isomers and polymers and whatever mers from chem last night. And I aced this morning's quest. All thanks to my good little pet's help. Now I've decided my pet deserves a reward. Ooh, was it a gulp you just made? Or was it a wine? <laughs> Don't be shy. It's natural for a pet to like it when their owner calls them good, isn't it? Anyway. I start off by wrapping my arms around my pet, just like this. That's it. Just relax. Don't struggle. I'm giving you a hug. There's no way even a big bad bully like me can make a hug hurt, is there? <laughs> there. Now, we both lie down. And maybe I stroke your hair a little, while my other hand just rubs your side, up and down, just like that. Oh my, look at those trembling hands. You're enjoying this more than you thought you would, aren't you? You know, for a while I thought my favorite little nerd was too interested in equations and persuasive essays to have time for girls. Not that they have a lot of time for you anyway, right? <laughs> well, this girl has plenty of time for you if you're a good pet. Oh, so it was a wine. And not the annoying kind you usually make. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a couple more of those. I like them. Maybe I'll move my hands a little lower down your back. Maybe put my head right next to yours so I can whisper right in your ear. Mm -hmm. That's it. Just lean into me. 
pencil class. But let's get one thing straight. Oh, did that surprise you? You didn't expect me to put my hand around your neck. Don't worry, I won't squeeze too hard. <laughs> I just want to make sure we're clear. I may be cuddling you, but I'm not your girlfriend. I'm your owner. And you're my pet. And that means you do what I say. Isn't that right? <laughs> Good pet. You're learning so well. Hmm. And you have a pretty neck. I bet that's the last thing you ever expected to hear from me. <laughs> but it's true. Maybe I'll go to PetSmart later and pick up one of those cute little dot collars to put around it. Would you like that? Would you like having a collar pressing into your skin all the time under your clothes? Reminding you what you belong to? Maybe. Is that all you ever say? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's okay. Relax. I'm not mad. It's natural. You're a pet. You're not supposed to know everything. Just... Stick to derivatives and grammar or whatever, like a good nerd. I'm supposed to know all the important stuff. What I know right now is, I think maybe you can help me with a little more than just grades. Maybe you can scratch one or two other itches. Like I said, I always wanted a nice, obedient. No. Was that a little whimper? Sorry, are my nails digging into your skin painful? I'll get used to it. Because they can get rough. But you already know that, don't you? And that's why you like me. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. Here, let's see how well you take commands, pet. I want you to nibble at my neck a little, but not too hard, unless you want to earn yourself a punishment. I'm still your bully after all. I'm capable of doing that if I need to. Hmm. That's nice. Have you done this before? Because you're not half bad. Wow. Sorry, didn't mean to tighten my hand on your neck, but can you blame me? <laughs> it's good you learn to get used to that feeling anyway. Yeah, just keep going. Get, get used to this. I wonder what all those professors you so desperately want to impress would say if they could see you now. But you don't care anymore, do you? Being a teacher's pet suddenly doesn't matter so much anymore. Being a bully's pet is so much better. Yeah. Keep going. Hey, it's not too hard. Unless you want to feel those nails again somewhere a lot more sensitive. You'd better listen to what I say. Open your eyes. Look at me. You're mine now. Understand? Don't speak. Just nod. Good. Good pet. Get back to work now. Let your owner do the thinking. You just obey. Hmm. Looking around, you don't have too much junk. I'll think I'll be generous and let you bring some of it to my place when you move in. A shame you'll have to part with these sheets, though, since I only have room for one bed. 
they're nice and soft. But I think you'll find mine are pretty comfortable too. I was gonna have sleeping in my couch, but now... Who knows? Maybe your attention to my neck is turning me soft, but I'm thinking I might just let you share my bed. Wouldn't that be a treat? No, no. No words. I know. Just keep serving me. <laughs> Good bet. <laughs> I can't believe I waited so long to do this. I have a feeling this is going to be an excellent semester for me. <laughs> Hello there, this is Spring ASMR. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my Patreon if you would like to support me. And if you would like to join the Spring ASMR community, check out my Discord server. Links to both can be found in the description of this video. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Brexy... Brexy Thai? Brexy T? Brexy T? Breaks IT and Ghosty for being super supporters on my Patreon. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye now.